So what, what we're all doing is we all are ensuring U.S. Uh, security and prosperity in some way, but we have a very specific mission on how we do it. And at the Department of Energy, um, we do that by addressing its, its some very specific energy, environmental, and nuclear challenges. So when you come to us and you look at one of our topics, what you're doing is you're supporting the Department of Energy's research. Um, we are very interested in you having a commercializable product and, and moving in that way and, and, and understanding what markets are. But really what we're most interested in is, is you helping us advance our mission. So even though you're working in the solar area or hydropower or, or nuclear physics or something like that, it may not be specifically what we're trying to do for the nation as a whole. So sometimes it's not a good fit. So you can see the areas there that, that uh, we're most interested in. We have 12 research programs that participate. Uh, we're a $280 million, uh, million dollar program, and uh, we have about 70 topics that we put out in two separate releases. One that came out just yesterday, release one, on July 16th, and another one that comes out again uh, in October 29th. And those 12 programs are split between the two in, in some way, usually like that year after year. So uh, again, we have phase one and phase two. Uh, at DOE, we do anywhere from 150,000 to 225,000 uh, for a phase one. You'll see many agencies have different limits on what they do. Uh, that's what we have. Our project period for a phase one is six months to a year. Uh, and uh, then you are eligible uh, to move into phase two or to compete for a phase two award. And so, as you can see, we put out about 350 phase ones a year, and then about 50% uh, of those compete and will eventually win a phase two award. Something that we have that's uh, unique are our sequential phase two, so you can be funded under that same topic for your same technology for up to five years at the Department of Energy. Another big difference, you know, NSF likes to fund you one time and they're done. And so there's, you, you need to take those things into consideration and think you're, uh, you have research that's going to take more than uh, one to three years to finish the Department of Energy and opportunities to take beyond uh, three, up to four and five. Um, a great thing that we have out there, doesbirlearning.com, I highly encourage you if you are just trying to understand the process from the perspective of the Department of Energy. It's a, we, we walk you through a very linear process from the date that the topics are released all the way until you submit an application. We've got some tutorials on there, we've got PDFs, and you can mix multimedia. And uh, there's lots of ways people learn, and we've got several different um, types of media on there for you to take a look at. A lot of good information there. It talks about eligibility all the way down to your indirect rates and putting that together, finding uh, a PI, and, uh, what's a PI and, and whatever you're, you're interested in, it's, you're going to find it at dusbrlearning.com. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach out to uh, me anytime you want. Uh, I don't have my, the, the 5707 numbers are uh, our main number. That goes into a group of people. They can answer any questions you may have about putting together an application. Uh, you go into our topics document, you'll find all of our program managers are listed there. If you have any questions about those topics, you feel free to reach out to them uh, via email. Um, so we're there. And Brittany is telling me to get off the stage. So, next. My, oh, my name is Chris. Um, my last name is Irwin. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I've got business cards. I'll put them out on the table there and some, some brochures. Okay, thanks.